Hey everyone, and welcome to another Hemp Tips. Today, we'll be going over how to prevent and get rid of white powdery mildew from your plants. White powdery mildew is a fungal disease that's quite common attaching itself to the leaves of a plant. And as it matures and spreads on a leaf, it'll release more fungus spores that'll attach the leaves near it, allowing it to multiply pretty quickly. White powdery mildew also thrives in moist and humid environments at around room temperature. And this can be exasperated by wetting the leaves when watering your plants or if your plants have a dense foliage, it can trap moisture between the leaves and prevent airflow from going through it. This is why white powdery mildew often starts near the base of a plant where the foliage is denser and has less access to the light and wind, preventing any excess moisture from evaporating. Because of this, it's also pretty easy to employ a few preventive measures such as defoliating your plants so that the air can easily pass through it, preventing water from hitting your leaves each time you water your plants, and for really humid environments, running a dehumidifier when the humidity gets too high. If you do happen to get white powdery mildew on your plants though, luckily it's pretty easy to identify and remove, as long as they're located on just your leaves and not your buds. Because if they are on your buds, you're going to need to destroy any buds that have white powdery mildew on them. As for the leaves, White powdery mildew looks like little white circle patches of flower, and over time this flower will cover the entire leaf, and then start spreading to the leaves around it. And for the leaves that are completely covered, it's best to just remove them from the plant as they're too infected to try and recover. For the leaves that only have a couple of small spots on them, you can first use a damp paper towel to slowly remove the small bits of white powdery mildew from these leaves. After all the infected leaves look clean, this is a good time to defoliate the plant if it's a little too dense. Otherwise, to help prevent any of the spores in the air or that are left on the leaves from expanding, you'll want to spray down and coat the entire plant with a solution to help negate the remaining spores and prevent future growth. One of the most common and effective solutions is a milk spray, mixing one part milk with 10 parts water, or around one and a half cups of milk per gallon of water. Other home remedies include an apple cider vinegar spray using three tablespoons of vinegar per gallon of water, a hydrogen peroxide spray using one teaspoon of 35% hydrogen peroxide per gallon of water, and a baking soda spray using one tablespoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of liquid soap per gallon of water. The natural insecticide neem oil also works for this as a spray. And you'll want to mix four teaspoons of neem oil 
per gallon of water. Finally, once the plant is placed back in the grow space, be sure to increase the airflow and lower the humidity if possible to ensure that the white powdery mildew doesn't come back. And that's it. Like the content? Then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch. Available at Amazon in print and digital with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com.